Ayan, good morning everyone! Napakagandang umaga sa inyo. Alright, uh, let me just adjust my microphone. Alright, napakagandang umaga. Uh, ISM closed 8.3, so that was very good. Yan yung sinasabi natin. Uh, it's really hard for it to wait for a pullback. So, just... Yan, sayang naman yung momentum din eh. So, just test buy and then, yan. You, you're already earning. Kaya, pero, ayan, um, a stock really is bound to do retracements anytime soon, but yung soon na yan, hindi natin alam kung kailan. So, just be ingat na lang sa positions niya. We're, today is gonna be a very special episode. We're gonna be t- we're talking about R- RSI, uh, how to use it. Uh, mar- I ha- alam ko may utang ako sa inyong tutorial. Let me just double check if everything is working well. Ayan. So, this is the first time I'll be teaching about technical analysis dito sa so Daily Grind, which is live. Um, this is due to very popular demand and dami naghihingi ng RSI na video. So, today we're gonna be talking about RSI, how to use it. After that, um, we'll talk about some stocks. Si ABBA, guys, na may napakagandang news si ABBA. Buti naman at nareko ko yan. Right? Uh, we'll talk about that also in a while. Also, ISM. Uh, uh, all other stocks if may requests kayo. So, um, if you're watching the replay of this video, please move forward to around 25 minutes of the video because that's when the discussion is gonna start. Uh, first part of the video kasi I'm just gonna be reading the comments and requests. If you have anything in mind you wanna say, please post it in the comments because I'm gonna be reading it now. Uh, first up, yeah, uh, let me double check my audio, huh? It's bound. It's bound. Very good. Johnny Gares, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like a good morning, Oliver Prindiana, uh, Wing Gloria, Argel Mendoza, Hops, good morning, sa inyo. Angie Montero, Addison, John Garcia, uh, Hops, uh, any sites? Um, good morning, sa inyo, Addison, John. Uh, Hops, any insights? Po kay PSEI yesterday. Yes, ang ganda ng galaw ni PSEI yesterday. Right? Um, we are now back to 6,923. We'll talk more about that in a while. This is um, somehow a uh, good bounce for our uh, for PSEI. Uh, higher ano, higher I- RSI. So that means it's a be- better bounce. I hope hindi na bumaba lalo. Right? So, uh, yeah, that's very good. Nag- si Labasan ang mga third uh, quarter reports yesterday and stocks were bouncing. LR, very good. Uh, bounce by LR, very good numbers. Yan, ang dami sila. CPG, PHA, uh, these, the companies were bouncing. So, this this is a very good sign for the companies. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Just wait for the uh, third quarter reports and if see if we see good numbers, this can lift PSEI. Right? And it did bounce. Um, PSEI did bounce. A ve- uh, did do a very good bounce yesterday. Right? So, um, yan, ups, I think this is gonna be good. Hopefully, it does continue over December, right? Um, till January, right? Hopefully, it does that. Um, medyo shaky, but right now, yung, um, yung monthly trends kasi ng market is, hasn't been following the normal, uh, the norms. Um, usually, ghost month was only for August, pero September, October, naging down pa rin tayo, and even November, di ba? But, uh, Overall, yung worldwide market, hindi lang naman Philippine stock market nung nagsibagsakan. Right? So, marami. Marami nagsibagsakan. Sadly, we're greatly affected by foreign markets pa rin. So, pag bumabagsak ang foreign market, bumabagsak din tayo. Yesterday, bagsak ang foreign market, but we did a strong bounce. But that's uh, that's very good, right? Meaning, retailers, I mean, the local buying is here because of the numbers because the numbers are here. Hop, Sir Lloyd, Sir Lloyd, can you please share your thoughts on the possibility on heavy correction kay ISM? Just like what some people are warning about, is it imminent? Yes, I think, right? Um, But yun yung sinabi ko sa inyo. That's why I made, I made one episode uh, a few days back about um, trailing stop loss diba? trailing stop loss that is to prepare everyone for that possibility it's always a possibility we'll talk more about that in a while good morning Sir Lloyd and like a poppy tugs and win I'll write this down Jerome right um, si sulat ko rin yung para hindi ko makalimutan yung retracement ni ISM um, but kas- karamihan kasi nagsasabi ng retracement ni ISM kasi sinasabi nila yan kasi karamihan hindi nakasakay right that's why i told you right um if you wanna, if you want to wait for the retracement we don't know when the retracement is yes it is bound to happen but we don't know when is it gonna happen because the uh this stock is very good right napakaganda na stock na ito right uh, we don't know when the retracement is gonna happen we'll talk more about that 
ISM retracement. I'll write that down. Pag-usapan natin yan. That's a very good topic. Alright. Um, Daran Boa, may buntag Sir Lloyd. Princess Laika, salamat sa guidance. As always, cheers. Yeah, thank you to Hops. Any news po sa reforma, pre, uh, for reforma announcement in ISM Master Telco? Wala na, wala na mga balakid. Yes. If, if you haven't, know, uh, if you don't know it yet, uh, PTNT and Sir has backed out. That's what I was talking about yesterday. Um, wala naman talagang <laughs> yung motion for the reconsideration. I, I was expecting na hindi talaga mabibigay sa kanila yun. Because the excuses that they gave on uh, on bidding day, napaka lame na mga excuses nila. So yeah, uh, we talked about that yesterday. I wanna, I don't wanna talk about it again. And yun yun nga after just after we talked about it, yun dininay na. Um, they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to. F uh, file another motion for reconsideration again because they know their excuses were lame very lame excuses right um that's good so that's good for ism so we can't say if it's gonna retrace today right kasi di ba nakita nyo kahapon paglabas ng news na wala na nag back out ng mga contenders lumipad na naman si ism so you really can't say if it's gonna uh, retrace anytime soon so we'll talk more about that in a while Boy, sweet potato. Good morning, sir. Ingat po, pampabuhay ng pampambomba inside kay Or. Uh, yes, I told you about Or a few months na siguro. Or has very good fundamentals already and you saw the numbers of Or. Let's check out Or's um, earnings ulit. Positive, 174%. 36 million um, third quarter, uh, 36 million net income for the third quarter which is plus 174 compared to last year told you this company is getting better and better so we already saw a support for or this is the best time para mag average down kay or kung naipit man kayo but or i told you hindi pa lumalabas yung mga news nila but the the earnings are already in right so that company has very good potentials magbudega lang kayo diyan right? isa yan sa mga um bagger picks ko talaga. So, Darren Bow ISM really is really teaching us how to enter the trading pero mala maka, makakainis lang tong call mahirap ang 1 minute trading sa kanya type mo pa lang yung password iba ng presyo kalagot lol. Right, that that's one of my lessons to my students, right? One of the things that you need um as to be a good trader is really a platform that is good for you, right? Tra call is a good platform for investors, right? Uh, for trading, for hardcore trading, sadly it's not, right? That's why I've been recommending. But then you check it to Trade Asia, or if you can afford Timson, you can go for Timson 100k. Yung opening nila. Ang problema lang sa Timson, it's really for PC trading talaga. What if lumubas kayo, hindi kayo mga trade sa labas. So you have to balance it out depending on your situation. If you wanna be a hardcore trader na nakadikit ka lang sa PC mo, I'd say Timson is good. But okay rin naman si um si si Two Trade Asia. Ang kagandahan advantage si Two Trade Asia is yung mobile niya. Right? Timson has no mobile, right? Hindi siya hindi mo siya pwedeng ma-open through browser because Timson has to install a software on your PC. So hindi mo install sa phone, hindi mo ma hindi mo ma-open siya even outside. Right? Rosana Reyes, good morning, like and Sir Lloyd. Good morning from UAE. Yan mga kapatid natin, OFWs from UAE. Good morning. Very good morning sa inyo. Pa shout out naman po from J Cruz 62. Good morning sa iyo. Dave Guapo Daddies. Good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika and to my wife watching from South Korea. Anyo nga sa iyo sa inyo. Hops inside po patuloy po pagbaba ni SMPH. Yun nga ay eh, bumababa pa rin si SMPH. It's um, not really sure why, but it's already cheap for SM. Right? Kahapon nag bounce naman si SM. Um, yun lang, downtrend lang. We can't really say if it's gonna go up rin. That's the, that's the fact of the market. Even if maganda yung earnings nila, bumababa ng bumababa si SMPH. But good news is we are now at, we have a bounce. Right? I guess that's a good support for SMPH. You, that's why I don't want you guys to really, um, um, and let me share my screen. Yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pag bearish yung market, it's not really good to guess the bottoms of a stock because it can still go down on a bearish market. At yan, it was triggering the Bollinger Band sa baba. Alam natin saan ito papunta at bumaba pa nga. Um, kapon, there was a good bounce. So hopefully it is a, it will be a good reversal area for SMPH. Napakamura na ng presyo na yan. But we can't tell. Hindi natin alam. Right? Um, I don't want you to be very aggressive in this bearish market. J. Cruz, Green Bull, and IRC, please. Right? Let's check them out. 
um, green bull and IRC. And so sulat ko muna yan. STV Trader, good morning. ISM LTG. And LTG, tignan natin si LTG kamusta na sila Lusutan. Group um Jerm Gamboa, napaka na Napapasayaw ako sa Sans Mo Sir Lloyd <laughs> Welcome pahabol Yan si Welcome I did recommend Welcome The past few days Nung nag bounce siya Weeks ago was, That was weeks ago Right I told you to wait for it At MA20 And there it is Nag all time high si Welcome Good job sa mga pumasok kay Welcome Look at this right here I did sp uh, I did recommend Welcome At around MA20 At this area I can't remember when yun but around MA20 and then it was playing at that MA20 and then yun nag all time high si Wilcon congrats sa mga pumasok kay Wilcon very good volume yesterday congratulations Wilcon holders um we'll talk about that in a while then si Wilcon over um that's already missed opportunity hindi kayo nakapasok alam ko hindi kayo nakapasok kasi nasa ISM kayo pero <laughs> okay rin naman kita rin naman kay ISM di ba right so We'll talk more about that. Sinulat ko na si Wilcon. Gorley, good morning sir. Magandang pasukin ba si Food ngayon? Let's check out Food in a while. Sulat ko si Food. Right. Um, ganda ng numbers ni Food eh. So, I think that's good. Good morning sir. Lloyd, ATN po. Let's write down ATN. Kamustahin natin si ATN. Um, Justin Salvador, good morning sir Lloyd. Pwede bang mag-discuss po? Malaman yung 52-week high and low siya. Um, Siguro na today. Baka tomorrow. I'll, I'll make that as a ano, as a topic. 52-week high and low. Anong, ano, what is the significance of it in trading? Ano bang pwede natin magamit dyan para i-trade natin? Sige. That's a very good topic for tomorrow. Um, that's gonna be a short discussion, but at least it will be a good topic. Rom Madronero. Good morning, sir. Good morning then. Weng Berbasalde. LRW. Good bounce yesterday. Ang ganda ng numbers ni LR and LRW. That's why I told you, ang ganda pa rin ang fundamentals ng company na yan. Um, and PCOR, please. Let's write these down. LRW and PCOR. One moment, please. And Kasi wala akong sekretary. Ako rin nagsusulat ng mga requests. Alvin Del Cruz, good morning Sir Lloyd from South Korea. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Nikos Bernardino, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ano po insights nyo po sa ask volume ni ISM? Bakit ang laki po ng ask volume? Selling, malaki ang selling. Um, malaki ang selling That's because people wanna sell out. Right? Um, let's check out the selling mamaya. Right? Um, We'll talk about that in a while. Evangeline Velasco, good morning po. Sir Lloyd, SSI po. Thanks. All right, SSI. All right, so SSI, I'll write that down. Ganda ng earnings ni SSI din eh. Lumabas kahapon eh. Ang daming earnings lumabas kahapon. Hindi ko na nga na post lahat eh. Mark Lester, good morning. Boss Lloyd and Laika. Pakibati naman sa wife ko, Boss Lloyd. Ems Gardose, she's supporting me with my trading. Ayan, ang ganda niyan. If your partners are supporting you when you're trading, so sinusuportahan ka niyan kasi gain si ISM ngayon. Pagtalo yan, lagot ka. <laughs> Mark Lester. Ka 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 kaya ingatan mo yan. Carmi, Sir Lloyd, all in na po ba kay ISM with the given news na hindi magpo-file ng appeal si Sears and PTNT? I strongly will recommend still to wait for the declaration. Right? But I think this is good already for ISM. Right? If there will be retracement happening, let it retrace. This will be my opportunity to buy more. Yeah, nag-add na ako ng buying power because I'm waiting for that retracement to happen because <laughs> I'm just gonna be buying more. You know, that's the, that's the thought of it. Roger Aguilar will talk about more of that in a while. Roger Aguilar, pwede baba si CLC. Let's check out CLC's chart. Maganda mapasukin si CLC ngayon. Right, um, Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pacheck naman po si ATN and win. Right, um, nasulat na natin yan. Aga, Seven Midas, good morning Sir Lloyd from KSA. Mga kapatid natin, OFW's from KSA, good morning sa inyo mga traders dyan. Newbie Trader, morning po Sir Lloyd, watching from Dubai. Ay nga pala, um, eto plan pa lang guys ha, but Really, I wanna uh, I wanna shout this out early, para mapaghandaan niyo. And I am asking for your support. Um, to Financial Freedom One Hundred One will be going to Middle East. Um, most probably February, and this February at um Kuwait, uh, Dubai, and Saudi. Right, as much as possible, I wanna cover those three countries. Right, so if you want. To join the seminar, magse seminar ako jan. Um, it's about financial literacy and also especially trading, stocks and trading. Yeah, most uh, most definitely. Yun yung yun yung seminar natin, right? So if you wanna join, 
um, abangan nyo po yung announcement, right? Um, hopefully, that f- that comes into fruition. Still working with other people out there na gustong tumulong to, to make this e- that event happen. So, hopefully, mag-fruition naman. So, praying to God na mangyari yan. Uh, Shels DV, Sir Lloyd, good morning. How does volume in bid and ask affect the movement of the stock just like the ask of ISM at EOD? Right, kahapon? Um... And yeah, um, we can't really say um, Kasi at this point Si ISM Alaki na ng gains eh right? You can't expect everyone To be long term like us Remember, this is a bearish market And sino ang man- andi dito Pag bearish ang market Konti lang investor So you will expect always Kaya nga may mga retracement within the day Pag nananalo, na- napansin yung kay ISM is because maraming Jupitero, the most of the people in a bearish market are traders. And that's enough for their gains. That's all they need. They don't want to be long-term. That's their decision. Hindi naman natin sila mapipilit. So, magbibenta at mabibenta din yan. But overall, as an investor, it's okay naman pa rin eh. If it goes down, then that will be our opportunity to go uh, for to buy more. Right? It's, it really depends on your um, on your purpose on getting in the, the stock talaga. If you're an investor, don't mind the intraday volume na sell and ask, right? If you're an investor, you're in it for long term, huwag niyo isipin yung kikitain niyo ngayon, right? Look, um, think of the future, right? Don't let the intraday movements stress you out kasi concern lang ng mga traders yan, right? So, if you're a trader and then you're concerned about the volume that you're seeing, usually, pag malaki ang volume na selling, that's a sell signal. If intraday trader ka, you sell before that, ganun lang, right? Just adjust accordingly, depending on your plan. If you plan to be an investor and nag-iipon kayo ng pera to buy more, dapat matuwa kayo, di ba? You're looking for an avenue to buy more. Dapat matuwa kayo pag may nagsa-sell off kasi it will go down. Pag bumaba yan, that's your opportunity to buy more, di ba? We'll talk more about that. It's 8.35, malapit na naman natin pag-usapan yan. Ben Stone, TV Gaming. Good morning, sir. Ubos na po BB ko. <laughs> right? Naki-ISM na lahat. Mon F, good morning, sir. Gorley, sir Lloyd, pa-average up ba ilang percentage recommended bilhin sa current share? Um, as much as you can. Right? As much as you can, pa- especially pag na-announce na si ISM if you want to average up. It's really up to you. Right? Usually, pag beginners, ang sinasabi ko lang is um, try to open, test by with 30%. And then forty percent of your entire uh of in your uh your entire fund, lagay nyo sa I mean not entire fund, entire budget for that stock. Lagay nyo sa next uptrend and then move your support there. And then, gusto mo na mag all in, may natira ka man thirty percent. That's when you all in for on the confirmation. Jason Rog- Rogado, good morning, Sir Lloyd. May specific date po ba kung kailan pwede mag all in kaya sa pag na announce na hindi pa natin alam yan. But don't worry, I'll surely post it in the Billionaires Club if oras na para mag all in. Right, Raymar, Mariano, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning din. Sir, insights po kay sa candle ni ISM, insights sa candle ni ISM. I, um It's just the volatility we're seeing right now kay ISM. Yeah, maliit nang paliit yung ano, paliit nang paliit yung, yeah, let me share my screen. Right, yes, paliit nang paliit yung candle. We might see a red anytime soon, but remember heaven, this happened to heaven also. It happened to heaven at this point on its climb. May nangyayari naman talagang ganyan, right? May red, right? This is what we're seeing right now. Palit ng palit yung candle. But I don't think it's gonna go down. It might consolidate and then go up again. Ayan, may red na naman and will go up again after that consolidation. So we can't really tell. Okay, matatakot sa red na yan, right? Pag may red, if you want to sell, you want to be a trader, you can sell half always. Then... Pag nag back and then goes back to MA20, then you just buy more. Yung problema is what if magtuloy-tuloy tulad yan. You can't really tell. This is a very big catalyst for heaven, right? So, in, I mean, so for ISM. So, it's not really, it doesn't really follow normal technical analysis. Yan si ISM, right? So, if it's worrying you, I understand it's worrying especially for newbies. Yan, pag-usapin more natin yan. Especially for newbies, the position is already worrying kasi... I guess this is the first time that nakahandle kayo ng ganito kalaking win. Um, to counter that, just sell half. Benda nyo na yung kalahat eh, para maging, uh, mag- mag-stabilize ulit yung emotion ninyo. Huwag maging greedy. Right? Jose Tamondong, Morning Sir Lloyd, we are excited to meet and teach you here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, Sir, CPG, PHA. Um, yan, PHA, pwede na mag-buy back, back buy sa kanila. 
Actually, the news of CPG, yung mga earnings nila and um, PHA are very good. So, this can be an avenue to buy more. Just, just, just nga lang ang kalaban natin ng market. So, I don't really want you to um, be aggressive on buying more. But I guess the prices are good. Uh, you can do that, right? Don't worry about your position. Pang long term yan, magaganda yung stocks na yan. Si CPG, pumasok na si Pacquiao. Um, si money can get so many investors because of the influence of money so that's very good for cpg but anyways yeah uh, strongly recommend averaging down on a reversal wag yung nanghahula kay ng bottom on your averaging down for like good morning um genoviva lim good morning everyone and sir lloyd greetings from dubai sir please discuss a bit sa bitcoin um i have a video about bitcoin right i have a video about bitcoin you can search for that that's one of my earliest videos search sa youtube uh, lloyd bazaar and bitcoin may dinuro ako about bitcoin. Bitcoin, explaining what Bitcoin is. Right, Tristan Porcadas, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Teach me more and always, always. That's one of my passion, really, teaching people. So, and every day, meron tayong lesson as much as possible. John Rosette, good morning, Sir Lloyd. I think we will learn a lot on this topic. Thank you. Any insights po kay LTG or VLL and Ali? Let's check out the charts in a while kung merong oras pa tayo guys ha um, kung, may, eh, kung mapagkasya pa natin sa oras sir si Webb po thanks yes very good earnings kay Webb kahapon it's negative 25 million but it's really better compared to last year so I don't know if people will be able to see that but th definitely that's an improvement for Webb so let's see what will happen to Webb nagbounce naman siya Emmanuel Lumain may buntag sir Lloyd watching from Singapore sir or yan si Or lakas lang galaw ni Or yesterday because of the earnings of Or. We'll talk more about Or in a bit. Right? Pag-usapan natin si Or. Dali Mirana, sir. Alam nyo ba kung ilang days ang expiration if hindi ko malagyan ng fund yung 2 trade Asia during activation process? Um, yun hindi ko alam. But the pride of 2 trade Asia is their support. Yung Facebook nila na page, just go there, send a message. They have the best support out there. Ang bilis sumagot. You can ask that question to them. Ch look for 2-3D Asia sa Facebook, right? And then send a message. Ang ganda ng support ng 2-3D Asia. Yun yung gusto ko sa kanila. Right? Sun Sunis Music, sir, anong difference ng common and preferred shares? Yun na share swap ng Yodena at ISM, 3 pesos at common shares. Yung hawak ba natin anong tawag sa kanila? Um... Uh, tawag sa kanila. Yung hawak natin is our common shares. So, ito yung preferred shares. Ito, yun, ito yung mga um, wholesale na shares. May mga shares na uh, kinikip nila. Hindi nila pina, lin, binibigay sa public talaga. Um, nakikita niyo yung ano, yung minsan nag-offer ang companies ng uh, preferred shares for ano, that's for wholesale, for investors. What, um, basta wholesale. Hindi siya maliitan. Yung atin kasi binibili is maliitan lang. Right. Um, just correct me if I'm wrong. Nalito ako. Ah. Um, but yeah, that's what I know. Um, I'm gonna review on that. No, nalito ako sa common and preferred. Ang alam ko kasi is common is yung atin is common. Right. And preferred shares is. Eto yung mga pang wholesale. If you wanna be an investor, buy the preferred shares. Eto yung bibigyan namin sa you. You wanna be a. Go, uh, you wanna. You want to sit on the board. Eto dapat ang hawak mo na shares. So you have to buy this much shares wholesale. Siya. Right. If you want. If you wanna have a seat at the board, yun yung alam ko, right? My tube eight three six aba and IRC, please, sir. Yan tapag usapan natin yun. Um, it's eight forty one. Um, stop mo na ako kay My tube Sheila. Good morning. God bless. Always po watching from CDO yun. Kay Sheila mo na ako magstop. It's eight forty. It's time to start our topic for today. But before that, we wanna thank our sponsor, Two Trade Asia. Uh, check out 2TradeAsia at 2TradeAsia.com if you're looking for a good broker, mabilis, reliable, and definitely will let you trade anytime, anywhere. Kasi depende naman yun sa lifestyle natin. So it's preference. If you are looking for a good broker na may magandang mobile app, mabilis, check out 2TradeAsia at 2TradeAsia.com. Right? Very reliable. Also, eToro. Guys, sa mga nasa eToro, alam ko may nagka-copy trade sa akin kaso nga lang my port is red right now. Yun ang hirap sa international market. Um, ang hirap ng oras eh. Because I really want to serve the Filipino company. Kaya nagfo-focus pa rin ako sa PSE. Kahit mas malaki para, pera sana sa international market. But I want to help the Filipinos. So I prefer prefer 
helping or getting uh, start, uh, focusing on PSE. So, I wanna recommend a person sa mga nag-copy trade sa akin tas hindi naman kumikita, you have, you can look for other people to trade actually. Right? If you don't know what copy trading is, there's a video, I have a video about copy trading, search nyo lang. You, actually, you can copy other trades through eToro. Sila lang pwede nito. Right? Um, this guy, look for this guy, si Jerowen Decker. Right? I wanna feature him. He's a very good trader even on the bearish market of the world market kumikita siya ng kumikita you can copy this guy whatever this guy earns in percentage the next uh, in the future you're gonna earn it also and I this guy is very consistent look for this guy right Jerwin Decker right patulong ko na rin ito sa mga nasa eToro if you don't have an eToro account yet check out eToro free lang mag create ng account you can get a virtual fund of 100k using my link nasa video description right please use that link that will help me in return pwede nyo siyang tingnan and if you want to help support the channel you can use um uh you can show your support by clicking on the uh what they call this uh the super chat yun yung dollar signal na nasa chat room natin uh dollar sign katabi ng smiley right that's super chat if you want to support the channel, if you want to show your support, support for financial freedom, pwede dyan. Or if ayaw nyo dyan, you can always uh, send me a message. I can give you my accounts if you want to help the channel. Please share the video and subscribe to the channel. Again, that's one way of supporting the channel. All right, so let's go to the topic, RSI. What is RSI? Let me go to my slides. May hininda ako, akong slides para sa inyo. RSI, also called the Relative Strength Index. What is it? Yan, pag-usapan natin yan. Kasi this is one of my favorite, favorite na mga um, indicators. Nahuli akong gumawa ng, um, ng tutorial sa kanya because um, it's kind of simple. RSI is really easy to use, right? Um, RSI, what is RSI? Right? RSI or Relative Strength Index, let me zoom in. All right, the Relative Strength Index, this is from Investopedia, is a momentum indicator. Momentum indicator meaning it tells you if the stock has a momentum going up or it has a momentum going down. RSI is a momentum indicator that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to analyze overbought or oversold conditions. It is primarily used to attempt to identify overbought or oversold conditions in the trading of an asset. So I want to talk about overbought and oversold. Uh, there was a question before. Um, kasi people are uh, ang hirap talaga eh. Uh, people are confused. Why is it called overbought when it's going up or it's oversold when it's going when it's down it's going down, right? Remember, um, the thing that causes a stock to, a price to move is the buying and selling. And remember, if there's buying, the stock goes up. Right? So if there's buying, 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 the stock goes up. At a certain point, it, the price goes so high, that signal is an overbought signal. Because na sobrahan na ng pabili. It's overbought. That's why it's called overbought. It's already too high because so many people did buy it already. That's why it's called overbought. So just to be clear. Also, if the price goes down, that means people are selling. So people sell, 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 sell. The price goes down, goes, uh, goes down. There will be a point that there will be overselling. Sobrang sell na. And that's the point where it's called oversold. Right? So that's what overbought and oversold means just to make it clear for especially sa mga newbies, right? I want to explain that. Why is it called overbought or oversold? Um, overbought, the stock is said to be overbought if the RSI line goes above 70. So I want to show you RSI. Alright, so here is RSI. Let me go full screen, right? This line right here below the, ano, uh, to get RSI, you just go to your indicators and look and type RSI. Let me show, share my screen. RSI. RSI. Right. So, RSI right here. Relative Strength Index. So, just click on that and this line, uh, this part of the graph will go, will will show up. Right. So, this is ISM. Let's go for a very common stock. JFC. Right. JFC. Right. So, this goes up and this area right here at the bottom of the screen is called the RSI. Right. So, let me just uh, widen it right there. So, there's two lines right here on my RSI. This red line right here, I hope you can see it. It's at 70 mark. It's And then the green line is at 30 mark. I just changed it to green because that's a buy. Red is for a sell, right? 
So, this is the first indicator we will be checking out. 70. Right? If the line if the line of the RSI goes above 70, usually that means that the stock is overbought. Na sobrahan na ng pabilian, so wag mo nang bilhin. Simple as that. Right? So, if it goes beyond that area, it means it's overbought, it might go down, and it did go down. Right? At that er From that area. Now, at the bottom part naman, um, go to the screen, that's overbought. It's if, uh, if the line goes above 70, right? That's overbought. Then next is oversold. The stock is said to be oversold if the line goes below 30, the 30 mark. The 30 mark is here, right? So if it goes below 30, usually that's already, already oversold. So nasobrahan ng benta. So it's not, it's not a good time to sell, but a good time to buy already. Right? And if you bought it from there, look at the price. At that point, it did go up. Right? If it goes below uh, RSI, right? that's a buy signal right there. Right? Um, this happened also last year when JFC did a double bottom. Look at that. When it touched below RSI 30, the stock did rally up, did go down and hit another RSI bottom. And this time, the RSI is so much better. It's now at 23. And that's the buy signal that we got. And then it did go up from that point. All right? let me just balance this out. So at this point, RSI was right, right? So this is the easy way of using RSI. So I hope that's clear. Um, let me continue. Tips on using RSI. Uh, one tip of on RSI is sudden price actions can cause false readings, right? Um, there are moments that a stock suddenly drops, right? And it causes, uh, it gives you a buy signal on RSI, diba? If it's below 30, uh, it's a buy signal. This happened to now when the price suddenly dropped. Let's check out now. There was a moment when now suddenly dropped like this one right here. Sudden drop kay now, it gave you a buy signal. Right, it uh, at this point right here, I hope you can see it. So it did a sudden drop in one day. Look at that from 7.5, it dropped to as low as 4.5, close at 5.15. RSI is giving us a buy signal because it's now at 20. So if you just follow RSI blatantly, it gives you a buy signal. The next day, it went down even further. And then there it is. You have a green right here. So RSI told us that it was a it's it was gonna be a reversal, but it did tip down again. So this is uh this is very shaky right here. So because of the sudden drop, it gave us a bad signal to buy, right? So this is why you use RSI with other indicators. I use RSI with Bollinger Bands as my indicator. Right. So this one right here, we have a bounce, but that's already RSI did give us a what they call this. This did give us a buy signal at this point, and then you have a green bounce. That's a recovery of the price. So RSI is telling us that it can go up, but Bollinger Band is telling us that it's a sell signal. It's a massive sell right there, and there it is. It did go down the next day. So you have to use it with other indicators to use it properly, right? So it's best to, uh, again, sudden price action can cause false reading. So this is best. Uh, it so this is best used as a partner. Used as a partner with other indicators. That's one tip of using RSI. Next is to avoid false reading, especially for conservative traders. Um, I know there are traders, especially the newbies. You don't want to be very aggressive. Um, that's why others. Who wants to be conservative traders use extreme settings by moving the upper line to and the lower line to 80 and 20. Diba? Normally it's at 70 by default, it's at 70 and 30. You can adjust this by clicking on the settings, and then if the settings go come out, right, uh, you can change this to 80 and 20. And then the, the lines, the buy signals, and the sell signals move now. So here this is much better now since I move the uh, the indicators to 80 and 20. Look at that right here. 4.36 price. This is the moment. This is the only moment that RS, um, RSI lower signals where the buy signal was uh, indicated on RSI with now. Right now, I have a better buy signal. 
right? Because I used 20. That's a buy signal. And if you bought on that area, look at that. You could have gained this much because of because you used a lower signal of RSI. You can do this, especially in a bearish market. This is a better indicator. Use extreme indicators on a bearish market. So, yeah, that's another tip for using RSI. And then tips. another tip is much better usage of RSI is watching for divergence. I've been talking about divergence for a while now. I have a cheat sheet for divergence. Let me. I'm just going to be posting the link down at the video description after the video. Hindi ko ito napagandaan. Sorry about that. But these are the convergence cheat sheets. Uh, research, let me. It looks like this. And so if you see, oh, sorry. Right, so this is the divergence cheat sheet. You can um, screenshot your phones right now. Pwede nyo naman gawin screenshot yan. Right, so if you see uh, the red lines are the div uh, the RSI, the blue lines are prices, right? So here are bearish signals of using RSI. Here are bullish signals divergence using RSI. If the prices are going down but RSI is going up, Usually, that's a bullish signal on the bounce. You buy that. Uh, this is happening right now with who? Um, win? Did it happen in win? And there it is. So here it is. The prices, the support price, uh, the support of the prices are going down. Let me remove these things to make this clearer. The prices are going down, but RSI support is going up. That's a bullish signal right there. That was a buy signal. The green one was our buy signal. And if you went in that, you could have ridden that climb of win, right? So that's a bullish signal right there. A bearish signal is pataas ang uh, resistance. The resistance are going up, but the RSI resistance is going down. That's a bearish signal. That happened with JFC, right? Um, here, uh, the resistance is going up at this point. You can see that clearly, right? And then RSI of those points are going down. That's a bearish signal according to divergence, and that happened right here. This is right here. The resistance are going up. Uh, resistance of RSI is going down. That's a bearish signal, and RSI was right. So this is a better use of RSI. This is a, uh, an advanced method of using RSI. So this is very useful. This is one of my tips in using RSI, right? So those are the tips I have in using RSI. Uh, I hope that was clear. Let me check your comments if you have any questions about RSI before we continue. Sir, ano po difference using RSI setting uh, 14 days to 30 days? Um, if you set it at 14 days, it's a much more sensitive RSI, right? Um, that's for more aggressive players. Uh, if you, uh, you settle it for 30, uh, that's a uh, Mas, mas maraming data. It's a, it's a slower uh, indicator, especially for conservative players. I just use the defaults. Uh, trading less on RSI overbought signals can be inaccurate and uptrending stocks. Mm. Um, yes, very good. Ano, very good. Uh, very good signal. Uh, very good. What they call this? Uh, very good um, point. Swing trader trends. RSI overbought signals can be inaccurate in uptrending stocks. Very good example of that was. Um, ISM right now ISM look at ISM right uh, at this point RS, I, uh, ISM is already overbought right here at this point when it suddenly climbed 5.51 it's still RSI is still at overbought levels if you sell there you could have lost this right there so it's really not an indicator and um, it can miss sometimes right it can miss it's it there's no 100% indicator naman kasi so at the very end that's why i love price action because it's the price action that will really really tell you uh what the movement of the stock is right so very good point swing trader so anong gamit yung chart um hindi ko na share ang ano uh this is investagrams i just changed uh, i just tweaked the settings but here right here look at this ism right here um it already gave us an overbought signal Right, so usually if you just follow RSI, that's a sell signal already. But if you sold right there, you could have lost that. This happened also in what do you call this in 
ATN, um, kasagsagan ng uptrend ni ATN. This also happened right here. So, it's already at overbought level. I mean, overbought levels. According to RSI, it's already a sell signal. But, look at that. It's went, it just went up and up before it really did that. Right? So, um, it doesn't always follow. That's why you have to look at the price action still. Right? Um, Memory, sir, anong difference using RSI? Analu, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Anong pong gamit yung chart po, investigrams? RSI for intra rin, for one minute charts. Yes, this is very good for intra also. You can use this for intraday trading. Shells DV, can we use it in any time frame like one minute, five minutes, one day to one month? Yes, definitely you can. I also use RSI in my intraday trades. It's very helpful also because it can tell you the sentiments of the traders um, within the day. Right? So, and so that's our topic muna for today. We'll go now to ISM. There is, we'll talk about ISM. How much po kaya yung amount na pwede magbuy kay ISM? <laughs> we'll talk about that, right? So now we'll talk about ISM. Ano yung mga concerns sa mga tao kay ISM? May lumalabas na naman na news kay ISM na pag sila daw ang nanalo, mayroong isang Mr. Suarez na will go to courts um, because of this, right? Because it's national security daw ang pag-uusapan natin, pinag-uusapan natin, right? So, it's about national security daw, right? The thing is, kasi daw, sa US, uh, USA, kaya hindi pwede si Huawei maging provider doon because of national security reasons. And he's invoking uh, invoking this thought um, na ginawa ni US and he wants to use that to not allow um, uh, ISA, I mean, uh, China tell to be a provider here in the Philippines. Number one, why is my points lang I think this is absurd, right? Nothing against the person, but the idea is absurd. Why? Number one, so US, yes, they can do that because magkalaban naman sila ni China. And number uh, tayo, with that point, hindi naman natin kalaban si China, di ba? Number two is, that's just racist actually, right? Um, Porket China, um, threat na kaagad sa atin. Why not US? Why is US not a threat to us? ba? Okay lang sa iyo. Okay lang sa kanila. US ang provider. Okay lang sa kanila. Si Japan ang provider. Okay lang sa kanila. Korea ang provider. Why not US? Kasi daw si US hindi threat sa atin. How can you say that? China has been helping us. China is not our enemy. Dahil lang sa panatag show, kalaban na natin kaagad sila China. ba? Dahil sa West Philippine Sea. No, so, it has no basis for me. Right? So, I don't think that is gonna be an issue. Um, also, good news, PTNT and SEER is out of it. They will not file another motion for reconsideration because that's another 10 million. And we discussed about this yesterday. Yan, may Apple na naman. Uh, Flowgo V2, sir, what is price action? I have a video about price action. Check it out. Search for it sa YouTube, Lloyd Bazaar and price action. I discuss about what price action is. Right, um, yeah. Um, and it's in a sabi ko kapon. Um, they don't want to spend send another 10 million, pay another 10 million on a motion for reconsideration. Kasi alam nila na matatalo na naman sila sa motion for reconsideration. Because in the first place, their excuse, bakit uh, na delay sila ng papers sila, we're very lame, right? If you file a motion for reconsideration, it's not really to tell na, and dito na yung requirements namin, pwede na kami magbid ulit. It's not about that. It's about making it fair to Yudena na naka-procure ng requirements fairly on that day, right? It's unfair for Yudena na ginawa nila lahat to be to be fit for the bidding day. Tapos pahahabulin ko yung iba. How would you feel? Ako, sir, nakasubmit ako ng deadline. Ginawa ko lahat. Um, submit ko sa deadline. Sa school lang, ha? I, I know you can feel this too. Right? Submit ko ito, sir. Um, deadline na ngayon. At kasi maraming hindi nakasubmit the teacher um, the teacher uh, suddenly changed the deadline. Sir, pwede pa kami magpass kasi andito na naman yun. The teacher suddenly changed the deadline. It's unfair to those who submitted it first. ba? Siyempre, kasi yung mga hahabol, hahabol sila, may chance na silang makagawa na mas maganda pa sa'yo. ba? So, that's really not fair. So, the motion for reconsideration really is to explain why is it fair for you, Dena, and the others? Why is your reason fair? So that you can join the uh, that's why you got delayed, diba? So, they don't have that. So, wala na sila. So, that's good for ISM. We are now at around 95% sure 
that ISM will become the third telco. Now, the biggest concern of people are, Sir, pa- baka bumaba kasi masyado mataas na. You don't know what, when, it's, uh, when it's gonna happen, really. Yes, it can do a pullback. That's why I really want you guys to define, be sure with yourselves, anong reason nyo pumasok kayo kay ISM. Is it to be an investor or is it to be a trader? Kasi yung pullback na yan, that's a concern of a trader. Now, if you're in it as an investor, just buy, test buy. If it goes down, celebrate. Mag-celebrate ka na bumagsak yan kasi you can buy more. Don't be greedy. Don't let the intraday price action fool you. Don't let the intraday price action deter what your purpose is in getting into the stock. Alright? Yung mga taong nagsasabi ng magpupullback pa yan, magpupullback pa yan before you wanna get in. Yes, they might be right, but they might be wrong. Right? But actually, I think they want it to pull back because they want to join at gusto nilang sumakay. Right? So, again, my recommendation stands if you want to get in ISM, don't go all in yet. Right? If you want to get in ISM, just do a test buy. If it does a pull back, then you just buy more. Right? At least mawala yung FOMO ninyo. Kasi the moment you don't even do a test buy at aakit at aakit yan, mafo-FOMO kayo. FOMO means fear of missing out. Your greed is gonna be messing up your trading plan. And papasok kayo without a plan instead. If mafo-FOMO kayo. So just uh, do a test buy. So at least maibsan yung FOMO ninyo. And then if it does, does a pullback, then you buy more. The moment it is announced that it is the third telco, officially, you go all in as an investor. Right? I just want to make that clear. Because I am already in it as an investor. And then, if ever gusto ko mag trading sa kanya, I can add another, uh, some amounts for trading, um, getting, um, taking advantage of the momentum. Right? Tama, Sir Lloyd, hindi natin kalaban si China, hindi anam na US ang Tridor. Um, I don't want to talk about uh, sino ba ang Tridor talaga, US or China. That's something politics. I don't really want to invoke into that. It's just that some people are hindering their possibility of earning because of that fear. Right? It hasn't even happened yet. If mangyari man yan, then just get out. Diba? That's it. So, sir, ano po record for intraday po? Ano po recommendation or intraday you can take advantage of the momentum of uh, of ism uh, if it goes down intraday use intraday technical analysis all right chelsea logistics holding firm revenue up by 61 percent to 3.7 billion first time in 20, uh, 2018 that's very good for ism good point palpak lang yung pahuli huli i'm gonna be ra- reading the ano reading the uh what they call this the comments of the people rsi sir naguguluhan lang ako saan ilalagay in their virgins kung ilalagay ba sa taas ng line or sa baba you use the cheat sheet right uh, for divergence follow this if the pattern lets you put it on the bottom follow this sa bottom ilalagay right kung sa taas ilalagay uh, kung sinabi ng ng cheat sheet sa taas may lagay and then sa taas may lagay that's what you uh, that's the purpose of just this cheat sheet I want you to print this or have a copy of this para makita nyo anytime anytime you wanna review the ano when you, you wanna review your charts right um, China Bank is even in the Philippines totoo and dami natin kapatid dito na mga negosyante mga in check and we call them traitor they've been helping the country a lot right they're not traitors actually it's just that <laughs> wala hindi natin kalaban ng China it's just that meron tayong conflicts just China sa West Philippine Sea doesn't mean they're our enemy right because China is getting our islands yes that's uh, that's the problem right there but there doesn't mean that we're we're their enemies diba um, Ceslin sir what can you say about this when a speculative issue hits 1 billion value turnover per day be cautious alright um I know this this is from Miku Sayo's post right from Ceslin right uh, Miko Sayo has a good point because up until this point, si ISM is still speculative. Hindi pa rin natin sure na sila nang maging third telco. Baka magka-problema sa papeles nila anytime uh, of the week, di ba? So, it's still speculative. That's uh, He was right in that. Be cautious about it. Mag-ingat kayo dyan because that's speculative. 
everything is speculative right now. Kaya nga ayoko muna kayo mag all in eh. Because this is speculative. This is still partly gambling, but at least our uh, our probability of winning is already high. Mamaya na kayo mag all in. Pag pag ano na, pag pag sila na talaga. Which is contradict contradictory to what I've did kasi nag all in na ako kay ISM. That's because nasa baba ako nag all in, right? Sa mga mag um, hindi pa nakapag all in, mataas na ito para mag all in. Huwag mo na kayo mag all in, 'di ba? So ganun lang. It, uh, the uh, it's iba-iba talaga it, depending on the situation, depending on your trading plan, depending on your risk appetite. For me, the, my risk appetite kasi okay na sa akin yung 95% probability of win, winning na si ISM. So I went all in earlier, uh, early at the early part of the trading. So it really depends to you. Sir, what's your uh, price action yan? Yan ang pag-usapan na natin yan. Lloyd, uh, sir, this is from Bri uh, Tito Lanas, billionaires in the Philippines are Chinese, so it doesn't make sense na matakot sa China Telecom. Very good. Very good point. Zigward, according to Sacrio, before Xmas daw mag-announce yung official ter ter third telco, that will be good. That will be very good for, for us. Sir, di ba affected din si ISM sa project ni Dennis Uy sa Pampanga? Yes, definitely. Kasi si Yudan na na sila. Um, I discussed about this yesterday, uh, a few weeks back, about ISM. I told people to get in ISM because magiging yun na na sila. It's not about the third telco. Hindi pa natin alam noon kung magiging third telco ba talaga sila. Magbibid lang sila, ang alam natin. Right? So, the third telco really is just a bonus. Right? Yudena itself at 3 pesos is very cheap. Right? So, napakaganda na nun. Right? Uh, since oh, still since we're still trading it at the ISM's current price. So, napakaganda nun. Tulad ni ABBA right now. Sir Lloyd, any idea for ABBA will be used for backdoor for the Cheng Group, right? Game Group, Cheng Game Group. Yes, ABBA. This is one of the reason why I have been recommending ABBA. It was a backdoor rumor and nagtuloy-tuloy na, right? And ABBA has very good funds. Ang daming pera ni ABBA. That's one. That's why I've been recommend, strongly recommending ABBA. Told you to buy on dips. Kaka-dip lang ni ABBA. So, it's still a buy right now for ABBA. So, aangat yan. Most probably. Page kitties. Yung about Huawei issue, palabas lang yun mga kano. Competitive kaso ang Huawei ngayon. Treat sa Apple nila. Threat sa Apple nila. Pero Apple products sa China ginagawa kasi mura ang labor. Yes, we can speculate speculate so many conspiracy theories. Yes, Huawei can be a threat. Right. So, yan. Stochastic RSI, that will be for a different uh, different session na engineer. Right. That's a different kind of RSI. Right. Wag kusapan natin yan one of these days. Wala tayong oras. Eh. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Totoo po ba na nagbenta daw? Director ng ISM, naka-disclose daw sa Edge. Pasensya na po at na-late ako. Right. Um, si Edgar... Uh, yeah, um, they can sell because right now, actually, it, ISM is over, oversold. Right? They have that, they can sell w whenever they want. Right? For As of the moment, ISM is, I mean, ISM is overpriced. What That's what I meant. Right? ISM is overpriced. Ang taas na ng presyo ni, RS, ni, ni ISM. As ISM. So, yan, um, they can sell part of it just to take profits and then they um baka kailangan niya ng pera or anything we don't really know but that's uh that's um something we we need to look into also right kaya again go back to my video about um tawag nito about um trailing stop loss that's the strategy you might want to consider in ISM, right? Please consider trailing stop loss. We had an episode before about that. You can search for that. Tingnan nyo yung playlist. Makikita ninyo doon yung trailing stop loss para yun yung i-apply ninyo if natatakot talaga kayo. If you're afraid, just sell half. Hold the other half. Yun lang. Dan Lucero, Miko Sayo is a shark trader. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jason Babor, kailan po final announcement to third telco? Baka daw December, Sir Lloyd? There is speculation that Miss Latel should be IPO first. Um, ang tagal na ng issue na yan eh. Miss Latel, um, dapat daw revoked yung ano nila. Dapat daw revoked yung um, franchise nila because of that. But NTC and Progress didn't do that. Right? So, overall, franchise pa rin ng Miss Latel is good. Right? So si sila sila si hindi naman nag IPO eh bakit si 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 ano si ano lang ang ang titingnan natin bakit si Miss Latel lang titingnan natin sila si di ba wala hindi IPO yan 
Um, hindi sila sila tier 1 wala, walang IPO yan Brian Benavente Sir Lloyd any idea pa ABA will be used for backdoor merchant group yes very very good for ABA problem sa China tell is this eh, is it is hacking arm sir for communist China and there's spy, they spy a lot that is why the reason na hindi pwede China ang maghandle that's why partner lang si China ang maghahandle ng Um, ng Telco or Philippines si Udena ang mag-handle niyan Miss Latel and ano and uh, what do you call this and PH China will just be a partner co- consultant um, what do you call this uh, hindi sila mag-ooperate so Philippines can always cut that whenever they want to right Scasser, may iba naman any news kay IRC wala pang news kay IRC ako nakikita true sir hate, hate kayo sa China pero enjoy sa chicken joy at shopping sa SM standards Jason Babor Aba sir for long term definitely not really for long term mid term lang for now definitely very good ang Aba ngayon right I've been recommending that for how many days now si Aba uh, Aba is already starting to jump so that's the uh, that's the area you want to buy aba so aba is a buy so we still have time i'll go now to your requests um may gustong tingnan si poopy right um poopy tingnan natin si poopy right poopy is doing a retracement that's good just wait for the bounce for poopy if it bounces at a higher low that will be your new support that will be your entry point for poopy definitely a very good company look at the earnings third quarter 119 percent uh, 119 million 73.61 percent second quarter massive income you can see how good the company is now that's when that's why long term ako kay Poopy this is the best time to average down if mag mag higher low yan si Poopy yeah, definitely very good company to get into Poopy next is Tugs and si Tugs naman and we have up 10 pa rin si Tugs eh right so um, very good earnings at right? 61% definitely very good earnings right so i'm expecting tags to aakyat pa yan uh, mahirap lang ngayon kasi we can see a proper retracement kay tags baka mag flag ito on the breakout that's that will be your entry point for tags but i think this is already good but just wait for the breakout trade what you see not what you think if you think it's gonna break out and you get in you did a bad trade right um next is um tags uh win Si Win naman, yeah, we have a convergence right here. Very good earnings kay Win, right? This is one of um, ano, negative 1.17 million, but this is better compared to last year. So definitely, Win is getting better and better, right? Um, second quarter positive din siya. So yes, this is a good sign for Win. We have a divergence right here. Sayang kung pumasok tayo dito, that was our entry point. Medyo ano na yun eh? Medyo uh, mataas na price range. Your risk is very high, so just wait for the retracement of win before you want to get in. Next is green. Um, I really can't call green right now. Um, maganda naman yung earnings ng green. Right? Very good earnings. So if you want to get, if you want to enter green, you might want to wait for a breakout or you can try the support if you want to enter green. Right? Maganda naman yung earnings ng green. Right? This is what I've been telling you before nung bumalik si green. Diba? We talked about green, but pwede man pasukin. Yes, this is a good stabilization for green. Very good earnings sa third quarter. Very good earnings sa second quarter. So, definitely better. Right? Si green. Right? So, I really want green to really show me an uptrend talaga. This can be considered as an uptrend. Kaso na lang, sinundan ka agad ng pulay. So, it's really hard to call green right now. Um, Vulcan. Right? So, Vulcan naman. Earnings negative. Uh, but it's positive. Uh, negative 300k. But positive naman. Um, Vulcan. Uh, good price action. If you want to be... If you wanna check this out, meron tayong support dito kay Vulcan if you wanna get into that. Maganda naman si Vulcan pag nagtuloy na si Converge papasok sa kanila eh. But right now, everything is speculative so I don't want you to be aggressive in that. IRC, yan, earnings wise, negative. Ang laki ng negative ni IRC. So yun yung negative natin dyan kay IRC. That's our one of our concerns. Negative yung earnings nila. But, definitely, if you're in it for investing because of the train project, yung chuchu train nila, yung subway, that's a very big project. Uh, that should be your reason why you got in IRC. So, and, uh, pag nag-support yan, you just get in at the support. If it goes down, that was your reason, just buy more. Right? Um, next guy, IRC LTG, Lucio Tan Group. Right? Um, I, re- I remember recommending LTG here. Ang taas na ni, uh, ni LTG. Eh. Right? So, let me open Bollinger Bands. 
Alright, so mataas na. Again, wait, where do you wait for it? Near MA20 as much as possible. So just wait for it to retrace near MA20 as much as you can. Right? Maganda yung earnings nila. Very good for Lushutan Group. Right? So wait for the retracement. Wilcon, Wilcon, masyado mataas na. All time high. I don't want to recommend that anymore. Missed opportunity na yan. So just wait for the retracement for Wilcon. Right? Um, Wilcon, food naman. Si food, definitely. Very good signs for food yesterday. That's an exaggerated move. Wait for it to retrace before you want to get in food. Right? Antayin nyo. Ang ganda ng numbers. One of the best numbers so far I've seen. Si food. So definitely, abangan ninyo ang bounce ni food. ATN, still, we're seeing a resistance kay ATN. Nag-consolidate pa siya. Let's just wait for it to do a breakout or a retracement for ATN before you want to get in. Dapat dun sa baba pa lang. I've been recommending ATN. Dito pa lang, buy on the dips, buy on the dips. And pag nakabodega kayo dito, tingnan nyo yan. Ang ganda na sana ng bodega ninyo, 27% gains na. Diba? Mm, for ATN. Um, medyo mataas na si ATN ngayon. Wait for the breakout na lang. LRW and LR, definitely. Um, consider buying them. Hopefully, this will become a reversal. Ang ganda ng numbers ni, um, ni ATN. Look at that. 765% more compared to last year for LR. Told you this is a very good company. Right? Ang ganda ng earnings niya. Hindi lang buraka ang project niya. It's just a very short market. So, that's, this is a good sign to be averaging down. If you can see a higher low, mas maganda yon. Mas maganda. So, wait lang. Um, it's 9.18. Maraming pati oras. Let me go to your question. So, teka lang ha. US did invade our country and China is just a long-term partner for trading according to history. Never been to war with them. Hindi naman natin kalaban si China actually. Right? It's just that pinapalobo lang ng West Philippine Sea. Um, Pinoy was too aggressive. Right? Um, Sinusulsula ng US eh. But yeah, China is not our enemy. Right? They're our friends. Why should we make enemies? And lit lit natin. Right? Sino ba naman tayo to make enemies? Um, especially to our neighboring countries. Diba? Um, so yeah, humility, guys. It will help us in the long term. Rom Man Madronero, Sir IRC had a book value per share of six point um, ninety four yen. Totoo yan, alright. Uh, maganda naman talaga si IRC. Eh. Sir, patingin ng projected opening na ISM. Salamat. So, yeah, yeah. We still have time. Let me open projected openings. Um, ISM. Um, let me open my Timson. So while opening it. The, um, let me read other comments. Um, si Rom may sinabi yes. As per last disclosure, yes. Maganda naman yung ano eh, yung par value ni uh, ni um, book value ni ni ano ni ISM. Maganda talaga siya. It's just that market is wala, wala. Bearish yung market eh. Hindi umiangat yung mga stocks eh. So, we can't do anything about it. St. Anger, TBGI, sir. Right. Let's write down TBGI. Sir, how about now? Is there a possibility it will bounce? Always naman. May mag magandang possibility naman si now na mag-bounce. Right. Now has good earnings. Right. Um, we're seeing 265. Uh, good bounce for for now. Ang ganda na earnings niya. So, Right now, now is at a very good price. Ang ganda na ng presyo ni now. So, I guess, yeah, now has always the chance to bounce. So, mga ipit kay now, you have the option to average down. <clears throat> Pwede nyo i-average down. Si uh, now, if you really believe in now. Hindi naman natin mapipilit yan eh. So, if you don't want to add funds in it, uh, may, may, uh, may episode ako about, uh, what do you call this? About um, how to average down without adding funds. Right? So, let's go to opening price. Um, si ISM walang malaking opening price ngayon for ISM um, I think babagsak si ISM ngayon na let's see let's look for ISM yeah negative 1% si ISM sa opening niya so yeah we're seeing weakness kay ISM so sa mga nag-aantay na retracement this, must, this might be the time sa mga investors this is your um, time to average down if ever bumagsak man siya sa mga traders right uh, trailing stop loss. If it goes further down, then you can always sell half if natatakot kayo sa position. Right? You can always do that. Right? So, that's where ISM. Pero, just guys ha, sa mga magbebenta, remember, right? Um, remember, um, if magbenta man kayo, sell half lang, don't sell all, because you really don't know if it's gonna be a pullback. Maka pula lang within, just within today and then magbounce na naman in the coming days, ba? So always sell half. Baka ma-out kayo sa trade, mahirapan na kayong bumalik, mag, 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 bumalik ulit. Sir, pasilip lang po ng TBGI and CPG, right? Um, CPG, 
ganda na CPG, right? Um, very good movements for CPG, good earnings, 84%. Very good numbers for CPG. Time to buy CPG, right? Ang ganda na ng presyo ni CPG. Right? Um, medyo mataas-taas na risk but very tolerable. You can try to um, bargain for a little bit. Pwede kayong mag-bargain ng konti kay CPG. Right? SMPH, um, teka lang, unahin ko muna yung mga nasulat natin na, right? Um, hopefully, we still have time. LTG will con food, ATN, LRW, PCOR. Yan, may nagtanong about PCOR kanina, PCOR. Yan, si PCOR, good earnings. Yet, ay hindi. Net income is negative 27%. Right? Bakit umangat siya? I don't know, but this is a very good support for already for PCOR. Ayan, umangat siya. Medyo pangit yung third quarter earnings niya. Ang laki na negative. Um, so, don't want you to be, what you call this, aggressive kay PCOR. Just wait for it to do a retracement and make an uptrend before you wanna get in. Um, next kay PCOR naman is SSI. May tatanong about SSI. SSI showed us good numbers yesterday. There it is. Perfect. I mean, 20 bounce. That is your buy point. If you want to test out SSI, I still say it's a good buy. Malayo-layo po yung 3.5. May opportunity pa rin dito. That's a good bounce at MA20. This is the reason why I love MA20. You can use MA20 as your support for SSI if you're looking into SSI. CLC, ito, CLC, sumasami, right? So, CLC, nagko-consolidate uh, nag, nag, um, nagko pa for now. So, um, CLC, chill lang muna, right? CLC. LTG or si or naman very good bounce yesterday very good numbers kay or 174% better right so or this is your support right here if you wanna get in or tingnan natin magkano ang risk nyo uh, medyo mataas na risk nyo so just wait for or to do a retracement before you wanna get in especially for position trades um, VLL right 924 malapit natin matapos right VLL uh, very good earnings it right? that's a good support right there pwede niyan testing and buy as long as that support holds for VLL pasensya na guys um opening 8.2 um projected opening ni ISM is at 8.2 yes um nakita ko yun kanina eh. ISM projected is 8.19 still good still a good price right hindi naman siya bababa ng masyado so it's up to you um that's the thing nasa taas na kasi it's really hard to call a position pag nasa taas na if you tell me if it's gonna pull back it might pull back but how much how much the pullback is I'm in it for long term na kasi so if it's gonna pull back it's I'm just gonna be buying more I'm not gonna be trading it anymore depende lang talaga ano ang purpose nyo of getting into ISM right so um, mga traders pwede kayo mag sell half investors just buy more that's it for today muna right let me just go Ayan. So, tomorrow, different topic naman. Pag-usapan natin. I'm gonna look for a topic na lahat matututo. That's it for today. As always, ingat lang sa trades. Don't be too aggressive. It's still a bearish market. Ang ganda ng mga numbers. So, it's it's promising. The market is promising. Um, workshop. If you wanna join the workshop, uh, meron akong workshop tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, 8pm. If you wanna join that, I strongly recommend you join so that makapag-take advantage naman kayo sa bullish market once it comes, right? Take care, and as always, have a great day. Let's get rich together. Bye-bye.